Hi, this is the Evolution R210 SM Plus miter saw. When you buy a miter saw, you need to make sure you check it to make sure it's given accurate cuts. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to check the laser beam and I'll show you how to adjust that if it needs adjusting. First, I'm going to check the 0 degree bevel stop adjustment to make sure the blade is 90 degrees square with the actual rotary table. First you need to make sure the cut and head is straight. It should be against its stop and the bevel pointer should be on 0 degree. Put the cut and head in the down position. Then push the pin to lock it into place. Now you need a set square and you want to sit it flat on the rotary table and then up against the blade. Make sure that this part of the ruler is not touching the tips of the blade because there's a very slight raised bit on the tips of the blade which you don't want to touch so make sure it's touching a complete flat part of the blade. What you're looking for is making sure there's no gaps here against your set of square or the blade and that's perfectly straight, there's no gaps at all. What I've done, I've just moved the blade so I can show you how to adjust it if you need to. I've now got a space between the blade and the square at the bottom. The top part is absolutely fine, but the bottom part, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's now a gap between this set square and the actual blade itself, so this now needs adjusting. You will need to move the fence out the way because the blade's going to come over here. Put the cutting head in the top position and then take the cutting head over to the left. Now this is the screw that you're going to need to adjust. You need a 5mm Allen key. The one that comes with the machine doesn't actually fit this, so you need a 5mm and you need a spanner which is a size 10. So I'm just going to loosen this off. I'm just going to turn the screw clockwise just a little bit and then tighten the nut back up. And then I'll try that again. Now that is perfect now. I did just adjust that again, so I have actually done that twice and it does just need slight adjusting, but that's completely touching the blade now all the way down. Once you know you've definitely got a 90 degree angle here from the table to the blade, then just check your bevel pointer and make sure it's on zero. If it wasn't, this can be adjusted just by unloosening this screw here and then moving it. Now I need to check the 45 degree bevel stop and adjust that if necessary. I'll make sure again the cotton head's in the down position, lock it into place and then move it over to the left as far as it'll go. Now again set the square flat onto the table and up against the blade. Again make sure you're not touching the raised tips on the blade. So again I'm just making sure this edge of the square has got no gaps between the square and the blade and that hasn't that's absolutely perfect all the way along now I've just move the adjustment screw just so I can show you how to adjust it if it's not correct so now what I've got is just a bit of a gap near the top of the set square so the blades touching the set square all the way along but at the top there's a little bit of space between the square and the blade so we now need to adjust that. Put the cotton head back into the upright position. Now the 45 degree bevel adjustment screw is just on the left hand side of the blade so again using the spanner and allen key I'm going to loosen it off. I'm just going to turn it clockwise just slightly and then tighten it back up and then just check it again
and that looks absolutely fine now so between this ruler and the blade there's no space at all all the way along the bevel neck should be resting completely on the screw that you've just adjusted the bevel pointer is on the 45 degree as well again you can adjust it if it isn't just by loosening the screw now we need to check the machine fence alignment make sure your cotton head is in the down position the fence must be aligned at 90 degrees square to a correctly installed blade make sure that your rotary table set at the 0 degree angle now place the square up against the blade and the fence making sure there's no space on the right hand side between the square and the blade which is fine and then also check the back to make sure there's no gap between the square and this fence now I've just got a little tiny bit of gap here so I'm just going to adjust that and just straighten that up a little bit more if you need to adjust the fence there's three screws at the back of the fence so you've got two on this side and then there's one on the other side you can also use the allen key that was supplied with the mitre saw I've undone the three screws to put my square in make sure it's right up to the blade with no space make sure the fence has got no gap that looks fine and tighten the three screws back up and once you tighten the screws just check the square and that's absolutely fine the rotary table also has this scale on it so it's also got the pointer so you know which angle that you've selected this if needed could be adjusted again just by undoing this screw and you can move the pointer now the last thing i need to do is just check the laser beam so what you want to do is put a piece of cardboard where the blade goes just tape it down so it doesn't move make sure the cotton head is in the back as far as it'll go and you just want to bring the blade down just so it marks the cardboard then bring it forwards a bit to about middle bring it down again again just so it's marking the cardboard and then bring it right forwards and bring it down again just to mark the cardboard So I've now got a mark down the cardboard where I know the blade would go. Now make sure the cotton head is raised and then you want to switch the laser beam on which is at the back of the blade. Now this part of the video I'm actually filming uh, later on in the day. When I was trying to film this, this afternoon in the sun you just couldn't hardly see this beam at all. So I've come into a more shaded part of the garden and I've waited till the sun's gone in and you can just see the beam a lot better now. Now you can see the beams totally in line with the marks that are made with the blade. So that's perfectly in line and it doesn't need adjusting. Now what you want to do, if your beam isn't running with them holes that you made with the blade so you can see it's not running parallel with it now there's two screws on the right of the beam you want to use the screw on the left hand side and you just want to turn it and line this back up so I'm just turning it clockwise and it's just lining it back up let's do it a little bit more So that's fully in line with the holes of the blade. 